Hello everybody and welcome to your next tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to be a really cool tutorial and by the end of this tutorial you'll be able to do this with your games. So you'll be able to write text on the screen. Whatever you want to write it will show up etc etc. So let's get right into the code. Um. <clears throat> so, if we look right here, I have a few global variables. Um, I have them global for a reason. Now, global variables is never really good programming practice, but I have them there because it just makes it easier just to get my point across in this tutorial. So, um. Allegro has um, some built-in advanced key functions that can help us do certain things and I'll be um, coming across a lot of them on what they do. So two of them are can be from scan code to ASCII and um, either we can or we can convert our text straight to ASCII and a lot of you guys are like what is scan code what is ASCII well ASCII is basically uh, the computer's way of reading our what we input like when we press the letter P or something on the keyboard the computer it, um, it's a way the computer interprets it in order to display P on the computer so what is scan code scan scan code is what we use to actually like what we've been using so far like to um, move our character by doing like key key underscore down key underscore up etc etc so that is what scan code is it's basically changing it into the code that we understand and then translating into code the computer recognizes so at first we're going to be looking at scan code code to add scan code sorry to ASCII and we have a function and what this is going to pass in is a text that's going to be displayed on the screen and the um the value which is actually the key that we actually press <clears throat> okay so um you guys should know about read key once you learned about um in my single key presses video so that should be familiar to you um so but when you do read key uh two right stream operators and the number 8 that changes it into scan code so uh it means you can read it you can recognize it using these values so right here i um with scan with scan code and stuff um not all the characters work like periods and stuff don't work if you want them to do certain things with special values uh then you have to input them manually so a uh, scan code to ASCII is probably not the best way but it could be a really good way if you want to restrict people from putting in special characters such as forward slashes backslashes question marks etc etc um this would be particularly good if you want them to enter a name or something in the game and you don't want any special characters anyways so we we set this to be able to be scan code re readable so um this is all fancy stuff that I've done to actually make it seem like more of your typing so like when you press a backspace it actually deletes some letters when you press enter it actually puts stuff on a new line um don't worry about that right now uh so right here I'm basically saying that if they haven't pressed um enter or backspace so if they press any other key then we want to do text plus equals and this is the function name scan code to ASCII value so what this would do is it would change it from the scan code value and change it into an ASCII value so if you um if you notice um if you right click and you say go to um definition um there's I think about 127 different options that Allegro has built in for different keys so if you press any of these options right here on these lists then it will convert it <coughs> to um, ASCII now if Allegro doesn't have those like um, Allegro doesn't have a built-in period uh, then it won't work it will just it kind of like freeze so 
Um, ScanCore only works for the built-in actual, the built-in stuff that uh, Allegro comes with. So it's basically saying that if I press the P key, it will do scan code. It'll basically do like this: if I press P, then the value will be equal to key underscore P. Then it'll do scan code to ASCII, so it'll change P to something that the computer can recognize, and then it will add that to the string variable text. And then I'll be able to write text to the screen. Now, if we look at ASCII, um, there's not much anything different. You, the only thing different right here is that you'll notice is the the value. Instead of read key to write stream operators in number eight, you do read key the ampersand symbol or the and symbol zero x f f. And this will change it directly to ASCII. And this way is better, in my opinion, because you're able to, by default, use every single key on the keyboard, right? Rather than restrict it to the, only the keys that Allegro has built in. So when you do it this way, I basically have done something. Um, uh, the way you read it is a bit different. So right here, you see if value is equal to 8. So 8 is the number in ASCII for a backspace. So I'm basically saying if they press backspace, then um, the text should be erased. Now notice right here, I put values equal to scan code underscore to ASCII key enter. Now I'm just showing you two different ways you can do it. I could do the same thing. I could copy this and put scan code to ASCII and then put key backspace if I felt like it but I'm just showing you different ways to do it now why not I just put key enter if I put key enter then it will not work correctly the numbering system if you notice um, the key enters and all these stuff are defined and they're they're given a numerical value so if I was to um, in ASCII uh, the value for backspace is number 8 but in Allegro the value for key underscore backspace might be say number 60 or 63 or something like that right so um, if I put if values equal to uh, um, just key enter then it will if the value for key enter is say 60 then it will read and say 60 in ASCII means the letter U then it will only this thing will only be active if I press the letter U on the keyboard and it won't work properly. That's why we put if value is equal to scan code to ASCII, so we'll change it to the ASCII format and then it will check for what it does. So right here the same thing, it's the same thing. Instead of just putting instead of putting text plus equals scan code to ASCII value, we just put text plus equals value. And I know you guys are like, wait, value's an integer and text is a string. Just go with it. It, it. it works either way. It will work because it's changing it from an integer variable into an ASCII character or char. So um, last but not least, just the indicator, um, just to make it more realistic, more lifelike. You notice this indicator when I press here, the thing that blinks. Um, that's just the animation that I'm just going for just to rep replicate that so that's just to make it a little bit more fancy I like to do all that, all that stuff um so let's go into the variables and whatnot so we have bool done equals false for our game loop we have draw indicator equals true uh, that's for the thing that blinks so you don't have to really worry about that but um for the start position that's uh, you notice that we have an array of five and we have two dimensional array one element holds five and another holds two um so what does it mean five is the amount of lines that we can actually have in our program and these are gonna store the x and y positions to where we start drawing to a new line so what I did right here is that I put I have a for loop for five lines and I say um I set the default x position to 10 and the default y position for all of them is equal to 10 plus i times font 1 height. So it's basically uh, what this will do is that it will do each new line evenly. 
and then I set the default value for the indicator in the text equal to null uh, set value equal to zero and let's get into our update loop so our update loop let's first do scan code to ASCII sorry to ASCII and don't worry about the indicator and stuff here if you want you could pause the video and then go back and like copying the code I had this code will be on my website eventually so you'll see it eventually uh, so what this will do is execute the function I've created before all this is familiar to you uh, this is just for the indicator uh, all this stuff right here and then you want to have a for loop uh, that will cycle through all the lines and then it will draw all the lines if you only draw the line number then it will erase well it won't show all the other lines that you've had so you want it to show every single line that you've typed by using a for loop and notice right here when we do scan code to ASCII and such we do text and we put line number in there uh, the line number is basically the actual the current line that we're working with and that's only if you if you haven't added the key enter and stuff then don't worry about it but if you have then then you can worry about it so um, just to show you what the results of the program is again so if you do scan code to ASCII um, everything is going to appear lowercase it's not going to appear um, even if you hold shift nothing will appear uppercase everything's lowercase and if you press a special symbol like period then it will freeze and then you'll have to exit it so scan code to ASCII could be like um, not the best option but if you just use ASCII then you can do a lot with it you could use shift to make things uppercase you could use enter backspace periods etc etc so um, let me just type a message made easy coming to you with another awesome tutorial don't forget to comment rate and subscribe I can't even type today but yeah and there you go so that's it